guys, welcome back to my channel, The Boy, Season 2, Episode 2. We just finished watching Episode 1. We're just gonna binge the first three episodes because they the rest of them, out, yeah. yeah, the rest of them come out, I think. What, is it every Friday? Uh, yeah, every Friday, yeah. Until, yeah. you said probably, I guess eight episodes, maybe. Um, I don't know if it's it, more. It, it is eight episodes. I'm okay. pretty sure it's eight episodes. Um, but yeah, quick recap of what happened last episode. Um... Basically, Butcher is back. Um, Butcher came back at the end, yeah. Yeah, he's like taking charge, gonna come up with a plan because mm -hmm. shit's going down. Like the CIA agent, the CIA deputy director of the CIA or head. whatever, her head exploded no. because she was giving away too much information about... She was what, giving she away was, too much information and she was retrie retrieving a little too much information too. Yeah, exactly. Like she was very close to... Well, she basically had it all figured out. That Vaughn yeah, she was, said she figured out. She was talking about the super. Was like a missing, yeah, missing component to whatever her puzzle, whatever she said. Yeah, and and what her missing piece was, because like we know that they were bringing over super terrorists, super terrorists so that yeah. Homelander could fight off threats could fight and look off, better. Yeah, and look like a hero and all that. Pretty much yeah. look like a god, which she basically is. The only thing is, this god now has a. Uh, I don't, even, I don't even know if it's higher... I, I guess you could say a higher authority figure in Stan... Right. ...that is like, yo, you want to leave or, you know, whatever happens to you, it you doesn't matter. You kind of have to stay here, Vault is, yeah. Vault is fine. We're a pharmaceutical company. We found out, we found out the origins of uh, the founder Vought, of Vault, yeah. how he was a Nazi, and they'll do anything to get their way. We got that, and then we got all the boys hiding that out. That was like, that was maybe my favorite scene of the whole sh uh, se uh, episode, mm -hmm. the scene with Homelander and Edgar. Because we kind of saw, because he always plays the very villainous types of characters, but there's yeah. always like a little twist. Like, he's very, I feel, sophisticated and calculated in this Yeah, one. he's not like Homelander where he's like going out and just killing anybody he desires. Very irrational, yeah. very sporadic. He's just like the man behind the curtain. Right. Pulling, pulling the, the strings wizard. pretty much, yeah. So, and then we got, uh, the stuff with Stormfront. Yeah. Did we mention that? Hopefully yeah, we, we got see, her introduced. We'll see a more of her. So pretty much, you know, that. She's the boys. replacing Translucent. Yeah. So, we don't know who's replacing the Deep yet, so that'll be interesting. The Deep, we got that whole cult thing now, which might play a big role this season, you know? Maybe. That weird cult, like... It seems like religion, in church, general, yeah. is, is a very... It's always been a big... ...concept yeah. discussed in the show, which is really interesting, because, like, a show where you're talking about God and religion or be whatever, yeah. where these superheroes basically act as God. Because like the they, public, the public thinks that... They were made from God. Right. When in reality, it's just Compound V doing everything. They're man-made. So, yeah. yeah. So then we got the stuff with Compound V, and uh, Starlight wanted to release it right away, and Huey wanted to be like, okay, I think we need to take a step back. Yeah. Really see what to do here, and, you know, analyze everything. And, just uh, not be emotional and don't... Because I feel like Starlight... Like, she has the best intentions. Oh, yeah, definitely. She really She's does the work. most pure-hearted, probably, in the show. Oh, Even yeah. Huey says some fucked up shit. Huey, well, yeah, I think Huey is a product of his circumstance, yeah. though. Like, I don't know. Starlight has also had this very um, huge, pivotal, like, moment in her life where she was like, maybe my whole life was a lie. Not maybe. My whole life yeah. was a lie, so. Yeah. That's why her mother tries calling her and everything. And she has still maintained her, like, sense of wanting to be a good person and wanting yeah. to do the right thing. And yeah. so has Huey, basically. I mean, we saw Huey's redemption arc when he saved A-Train, and now this season he, he wants to take down Vought, which is, he's doing it out of the kindness of his heart to say, you know, the general public, he doesn't have to do this. Yeah, I mean, all the, all the boys are pretty much, besides Butcher, he just does whatever the fuck he wants. They're all pretty, you know, pure-hearted. I mean, good people. Frenchie, you know, his relationship with Kamiko, I really like. I like yeah. seeing, I want to see what's going to happen with them. I don't want to lose any of them. Because if you lose, oh man, if we lose like Frenchie, lose any of them, Kamiko's going to break, that's going to be terrible. Yeah. So, uh, and she, you don't want to fucking piss her off. Yeah, and then we got the stuff of Black Noir with the Seth Rogen movie. We saw his dope ass action scene in the beginning. Yeah, I hope we see a little bit more of Black Noir. Or that, Noir. and then A-Train's in the coma, and then Maeve we didn't see much of. And then no. the Deep, we saw his shit with yeah. the cult. So I, think, I think Stormfront is going to oh, replace, yeah. like, like, she's going to become a bigger focus than, like, Maeve, than... I guess the deep, the deep might be taking a backseat too. So sometimes she twitches. <laughs> we gotta see what happens with Stormfront and Homelander, how their relationship. Oh yeah. Whether or not they agree if on shit. Threatened. Cause she could be just as crazy as him. Maybe. We don't know that. She seemed a little out there, yeah. a little spunky. And she's got a big fan base, so she's not going anywhere. Yeah, definitely not. I want to see more of her powers though, like what her actual powers are. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, definitely. I liked her suit and everything. Yeah. But I think that's everything. I think that's everything. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into episode two. Here we go. Here 
we go. Is this a flashback? Homelander must have taken him away. I mean, how do you even go based off that? Like, large pine trees, Exactly. Ran. Plus, especially if it's not even in New York. It's not like, even in the city. You're talking about There's a lot of houses that look versus, like that. Yeah. <laughs> You're at Tony's sister's. <laughs> what fucking city am I? At uh, Fort Wayne. Imagine being a waitress and having to deal with this shit. I'm going to pay for something I can write with. As well as endangering her infant son, Theodore. Any more information? I would just be like, yo, I'm not a, <laughs> this is all I'm not involved. <laughs> I can't believe that baby survived. As far as we know. That's what they said on the news. But it's a baby, you can get any baby in Homelander maybe. Yeah, but Homelander took Butcher and the baby was upstairs. They said the baby was launched. Like, a oh, hundred yards. Oh. Does he ever wear normal clothes? <laughs> I'll tell me, I didn't know like, <laughs> like, I want to see him in like shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh oh. He's telling him to use his powers. You can't do that! Yes, you can! You're my son! Back then, we had a deal. A deal that is alive and well and running around as free as a goddamn bird. Try and be civil, shall we? Just gotta realign things. What is it, Shrooms? Last time I did Shrooms, was at a Goo Goo Dolls concert with some poly side chick from Oberlin. I guess I call it more of a gateway. Why does he not see through this shit? I'd be like, Colt, Colt! <laughs> Wait, are you not gonna drink any? No. Dee, this is your journey. Oh no. It's probably like some He's ayahuasca journey. Oh, Christ. He promised I'd never see you again. I forgot about this one. Of course. Yeah. Not to come to your house again. What, should I trade Billy? Yeah, well, she basically started the voice. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Grace, I know who killed Rainer. You can tell he has so much fun with this Playing role. Playing that role, yeah. We think Volk killed us again, so close to something. Did you do this Something to do with a soup terrorist smuggled in the Jersey a couple of months ago, and that is where we start. We find this terrorist, and we one step closer to finding out who offered it. I'm not getting back in. She just hit me out. Oh no. <laughs> In here, open up. These trip and his gills? Oh, I don't want to see some nasty shit. We're, we're about to. <laughs> I, Seth oh, Rogen probably look, look, that oh. shit. <laughs> yeah, he definitely did. No, you gotta look it up. There's nothing else to see. We won't let like you shut us up anymore, Captain. Hey, hey, hey. Let me out, man. Round it, brother. Damn. I'm just trying to snap. Tell us how fun it is to have all this girl power. <laughs> Can you repeat that? But Such a weird question. Wrong <laughs> is the new pretty right at the end. Uh, no offense, I, I get you have your talking points, but why does it matter whether heroes have a dick or a vag? I mean, shouldn't we all just, you know, be competent at our jobs? I don't think girls do anything better. I think chicks and dicks are in it together. That rhymed. <laughs> oh, that's me. Look at Starlight. Starlight's like, oh. <laughs> Starlight, your teammate A Train has been out of the public. I mean, I like her. Me too. He's right behind you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. What's up? Why? Oh, no, why? Why? It's getting bad. Uh, Everyone thinks it was a really good idea that you called me in for backup that night. I mean, what would have happened if I hadn't been there to give you CPR? So How does everyone feel about you helping your trigger fucking boyfriend escape? Uh -oh. Or maybe you didn't mention that part of it. Should've killed his ass. I mean, you killed his fucking girlfriend. He's gonna use it to blackmail uh, her, obviously. That's right? Up. Like, he's gonna hold that against her. Hold that over her. You deserve to be loved, Kevin. Kevin. But that starts with you. Of <laughs> course, his name is Kevin. Take a look. A real look. I'm so sorry. I'm the ugly one. No. Yes. On the inside. You just don't see what I see. You are so beautiful. This is so weird. <laughs> to me. This was all Seth's idea? <laughs> Definitely. I'm not. You know, 
deep, deep in guilt. guilt. <laughs> Everything I hoped for, beautiful. Wow, they're harmonizing. <laughs> to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have the yeah. This was totally sexy. He probably so had some type of high experience where he's like so jelly button oh started talking to him or something. Big titted hunk of plastic. Oh my god. You'll probably end up in a manatee's belly when your kid chucks it in the garbage. Are you kidding me? I can't take this right now. Just say stick or something. Or yeah, stick it sure. yeah. Hey, yeah, it from Capes for Christ back in the day. What'd you just put in your boot? Uh, what? Oh. Nothing. Just say it's lipstick. Don't say it's nothing. Why don't you tell me what's in my boot? This guy's a freak. You shouldn't be hitting the crystal with your buddies quite so soon. Come on. Let's finish dick tech language halfway so we can finally do our real job. <laughs> She's something of a fuck. <laughs> oh, was that, was, that, was that in her bag? You yeah. saw a little pink thing? Oh, she went on her. I understand this is upsetting. I was told that we would never have to see him ever again, that he would never know about Ryan or me. That was the deal. Now that he knows, there's just no putting the toothpaste back in the tube. You should probably be getting back. Piano lessons are almost done. Jesus. Our best guess, you'll get bored and move on. He won't get bored. It's his son. It's his son. You don't. And he never had a father figure, so he's gonna feel like that's his redemption. How did Homelander find out again that he had this who, who, who doctor that told this? him? It was like Vogel something. Only trade for it. The doctor told him he had a kid? Doctor, yeah. I remember I that. Know, I don't know how you remember that. that. The one that was telling him about how Becca bled out. Remember he had all the dogs. Right. He was like a dog breeder. I think so. He had like oh the God. mansion. We need to order in. He, he was the one that basically crowd. like raised him in the lab. Okay. I mean, what are you doing? Unless he, maybe he went to changed. got information somehow. <laughs> did some digging. I don't, I don't know. remember what happened. You need to get the fuck out of my house. Uh oh. How do you think he's gonna feel when he finds out that you've lied to him his whole life? Think he's gonna be happy? Why can't he do those things and though? They're they're in like you see the wall when she tried to leave. Like they're being oh, watched. Oh, that's, that's so. So it's a pretty, pretty big area. Yeah. yeah. I fucking despise you. I don't know if there were other houses though. Yeah, it's a good question. Cool. Like you can't have a kid in don't. isolation his whole yeah. life, you know? But they'll come out like him. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. You're right. I'm not gonna get bored and move on. Oh, he was listening. I'm not going anywhere. So feel free to tell Doctor Park to go fuck himself. Damn. How do you hear that shit? I don't know. I'm some Jiffy Pop. Making himself at home. I mean, I understand he's the son, but. At the same time, it's like yeah. we still don't know the story, though. Yeah. 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 And you're right about isolating him. I don't even think of that. He's yeah. gonna end up like Homelander. Just regardless. like Homelander. He won't have any friends. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna get the Oh, I think that was her. That was that where him, she uh, was in the kid. Yeah. 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 You know this man? Oh, then there you go. Yeah, That's justified. What is her. going on? Oh, God. Oh. oh is that her brother? her brother? I thought he was about to fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Sorry. Her brother. Yeah. That's what she was trying to tell me. Isn't it crazy how like sign language is different for every la like real language? That's a good point. Like, yeah. English, mm -hmm. whatever language they speak. Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's her brother. What's your? No. Uh... What's he doing? Oh. Oh, oh shit. Holy shit! Oh my god, oh! Was he the person that... Holy shit! Uh, he wasn't off the person him. that lifted the bow, was he? He could have been. It seems like he could like lift stuff with just his hand. He's Telekinesis, cool. sure. He didn't fit that description, though. That mother's mom was talking about. Damn, Butcher wouldn't even hesitate. Mm -hmm. He just wanted to kill him. Oh my god, everyone is so fucking stage managed. Life isn't actually a PR strategy. You can say what you think. Pippi Longstocking. I used to dress as her every Halloween, and all the girls dressed like Disney sluts would make fun of me, and you know what I thought? I thought, who fucking cares? Fuck 
this world for confusing nice with good. Be a bitch if you want. Feels good. Yeah. You can finally breathe. She can't though. That's know, the that's thing. Really like good. she thinks it's oh, easy. It. Oh, and if someone sticks a dick in your mouth, bite it off. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Like, she's new to all this. She doesn't understand yeah. how it really works. I appreciate what she's saying, and, like, I'm all for it, but I don't think it's that easy. You. Fuck. Off. Damn. That's Kamiko's brother. Kamiko's part of the boys. But Kamiko is one of us. Yep. I suppose you agree, don't you? Since your tongue is halfway up her ass. Of course she agrees. Jesus. This is like Huey's and Chris, you like the branch of vagina! Plus, how are you even gonna find them? Yeah. Beck is alive. What? Oh, right, Dale. Yeah. Fucking no. I gotta find her. And I gotta get her the fuck out of here. Gotta watch out for A Train, though. She shouldn't be texting him. A Train. Who, uh. Who is that? What? What are you doing with this? Come on, man. Shh, this is not how it looks. You're not gonna tell anyone anything. Uh-oh. Because you killed your fucking girlfriend. You killed Papa. Oh, yeah, remember his girlfriend? Mm-hmm. The one, she was the one that sat so, on... Who, uh, <laughs> her, she's actually the real-life girlfriend of Huey. In real oh, life. No way. Yeah. All those needles jammed into her arm at the same time. I'm gonna take you down right with me. And then we'll both be dead. Go ahead. Fucking try it. That stormfront mentality. Yeah. Oops. Adrian why, is just dumb. Why like, would you? Yeah. Why would you want compound compound V to still be a thing? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Right, that was a little. That's a, a very excessive. <laughs> that was extreme. You could have just Someone thrown her down the there. street. Can just, you imagine? Just, yeah. You're watching TV. Play the little PlayStation. <laughs> got motherfucker going through your window. <laughs> she no. kill him? That's her brother. She's just gonna knock him out, right? I don't know. Yeah, he's not. I dead. hope. I don't think she would kill him. Bring him back to they're the just, base. They're disagreeing right now about yeah. what they both want. You Kenji, know? Kenji. Cheers, love. Hey, someone's got some sense around here. <laughs> you come between me and my missus again. I'll fucking kill you. Damn. Him and his missus. Him and Butcher just need to hug. Hug it out. Hug it out. So mean to each other. Hey, kid. Coming? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we only have one episode left before they start doing their like weekly, weekly thing, yeah. Weekly releases. Um, so what do you think? You think? Uh, I feel like a lot of this is still exposition setup, still definitely. Because they also just want to give us a little taste. With these first three yeah. episodes, it's like they did that very strategically in terms of giving you something to want and and hope for mm -hmm. before the next episode is released. So I don't know what's gonna happen next, but um, I think my favorite. Part was like the Stormfront interactions, like oh, we with saw, her, uh, like with, with Starlight, because yeah. I feel like Starlight maybe looks up to her a little bit, even though Starlight is the more. Because Starlight one. didn't have that person that just went against the grain, right? In, she's in always been taught to follow the rules. She didn't know because because the the only other female in the Seven was Maeve, and, and she was the one yeah. that like followed the rules. The OG. Not even that. Even if she doesn't, even if she doesn't agree with shit, she's just like, all right, I'm not getting involved in this. Like, right. She takes more of a passive and role. And like she said, was saying to her uh, ex, like she's done shit or been forced to do shit that you don't even want to know. Like the whole plane scene. Yeah. Like obviously Maeve doesn't want to do that, but if she goes yeah. against Homelander, yeah. I mean, remember what she said when Homelander killed the guy that. She was just talking to the guy. Yeah. And he killed him. Yeah. So they signed these contracts, so they just they need to fill their contractual obligation yeah. and then just live their lives. Now I don't know if store all the talking storefronts doing and you know It's gonna bite her in the ass. Yeah, something with Homelander if, or you know I don't know. I think Homelander like respects Homelander it. might fuck with that. I, I don't know. I, I feel like he definitely doesn't like people challenging his authority, but she's not challenging his authority. She's challenging Vaught. She's challenging Vaught. Homelander now kinda hates because of Stan. Right, so maybe they kind of have the similar so mindset maybe right now. They go against Stan, they can do that. But uh then we got Homelander interaction with his son. 
who yeah, uh, who Becca didn't even want. Wow. Well, first of all, the situation happened. The only reason why Homelander has in any interaction with his son is because what was his name was like Vogelbaum, I think his name was. It was the doctor that yeah, raised that. him, the doctor that was like doing the experiments on him. When he told him what really went down, uh, or at least I'm pretty sure he's the one that told him what really went down. The doctor? Yeah, I think it was. Or maybe he lied to him, and then Homelander came back and pressed for the truth. Um, because he confirmed it with, like, still Yeah, up. someone said in the comments what it actually Yeah. Meant, I, I don't remember, like, it's, what I think it's. I think, I, think, I think that was it, though. So he found out the truth, and that made him want to go to, obviously, see his son. Yeah. And his... So, so what was the situation? I don't think we still haven't figured out the actual story. With Becca? With Becca, because it seems like she has disdain. She never wanted Homelander yeah. to see this kid. All we know is there was a deal that was made... To, to, because if it were up to Becca, I don't think she would have wanted to bring that child into the world. I don't know. Depending on, if it was rape or if it was consensual, That's the that thing. changes we don't really everything. Know. We just know uh, Butcher's side. We know Butcher's so side. So hopefully we got a reveal of that. But uh, then we also got the reveal that they're blocked in with that gate. Right, so they can't, so they can't go anywhere even if they wanted to. We don't even know how big that area is. And like you said, if there's other houses, yeah. restaurants, like... So I can't, I can't imagine a, a, a life that she chose, like a situation well, that, where she would have chosen this life. The only other person we know was uh, he was getting tutored for piano lessons. Right, so there there are other people they in this, could but just are be they sending being them paid in. off? Yeah, they could just be sending them in and then they leave when the lesson's over. Maybe. Could just be that. Then we also got the stuff with uh, Kamiko's brother, Yeah. which is interesting. I, I'm still a little confused on, because uh, the group, that group that... Said to kill them. Light. Yeah, he likes that group because yeah. they fight for injustice. Supposedly, that's what he said. But she's against it because they killed. They killed their family. Their family. But so then again, again, that's two sides to the story. Yeah. We don't really know the truth. So yeah. hopefully, we get more flashbacks. I like that. I like that we're getting a little bit more. Like I like that we're, we're seeing her brother because yeah. we only heard him talked about in season one. Mm -hmm. So I like that we're getting a little bit more of her story. We still haven't seen, um, in terms of like side characters, we still haven't seen more of. Um, Black Noir. Black Noir. We got We're some more stuff with Adrian. A lot of time is dedicated to the deep, especially that scene. Oh, yeah, the shroom trip. With his with the, What's his name? Patton like, Oswalt. Yeah, which was a great scene. That I was that good. Shit. That was great. Definitely Seth's like idea. They're just kind of setting up a redemption arc from him, for him. Whether or not... Yeah, but how so? Because it seems like... Because we don't know this, this cult. I mean... He's having like a spiritual breakthrough... But I felt like he already had that in season one with his whole breakdown. Like, he yeah. knew his worth. He knew what he wanted. Then, but And then, you know, this guy with... Uh, with the woman. It's the eagle like, guy. Yeah. Like, he seems good, uh, like, you know, like a kind person. I don't know, pure. though. It seems like a cult. Yeah, because he was saying that the only reason he did this is because he made a mistake with the hostage situation where yeah. people died. So I don't know what this cult... Or, or the drink, F Fresca. Yeah, What's that all about? What, yeah. Cause that they keep is definitely it. something. It could be some mind altering thing. In it, it breaks them down enough to like make them susceptible. It's very to weird. They keep interrogation. and whenever like it's in, whenever it's in a scene, they always zoom in on it and shit. So why something. the deep? Like why would they recruit the deep? Did they just like see someone who's down in the I dumps who's easily? Or well, maybe in? they just don't want him. You know, like I guess going against the seven and saying shit. Maybe like, maybe know, they're like, against the seven and they're trying because they know that the deep know. is going to. We still need more of that. Maybe they're trying to plant this idea in his head that like he doesn't need the seven. I mean, he's gonna get fired from the seven anyway. They're trying to find a replacement for him. It's just a matter of time before he's actually like that. Replaced. That eagle, that eagle dude. Like, is he just like independent, an independent hero? Is I he with so. a company? Like, I think. Well, every he, every superhero, I think, is still part of Vought. It's still part of Vought because the they have over what did they say in season one. They have over like two hundred or something. Okay, but the seven is just the face of Vought. The seven is the face of Vought, but they do have other superheroes okay. because they're all just yeah, so man made. And I then mean. we got the stuff with A Train just being a fucking complete asshole. Yeah, like I don't understand why he would Stupid. want Compound V after every. Everything that's gone down. You killed Huey's girlfriend. It you got your own him. girlfriend killed. Yeah. yeah. I would be like, I would be with Starlight, like, yo, let's expose this shit. But he doesn't have the brain capacity to do yeah. that. He's focused on brand deals. We saw his shoes being made. He's still focused on brand, making him appear to look good true, when he yeah. doesn't really have. And I actually, there was a scene in season one that I actually felt for him and I wanted to hear more about his story where he was like on the bleachers and they were filming like his documentary. It was very short because the reporter like cut him off. But he was talking about how like someone in his life got shot or like oh, his dad that. wasn't. Yeah, it was very brief. But I remember being like, oh, I would actually like mm -hmm. to hear A-Train's story, story because yeah. 
he seems very one dimensional, but maybe there's some some mm. backstory there. And I think that's the case with all the superheroes. Like, do you think that Kamiko's brothers would end up helping the boys, or you think so? You think so? Definitely. So that new little a new member. Yeah, I don't. They're dealing with too much conflict without yeah. the influence but, of another pr villain that I don't think he's going to go against them. Do you think that Huey's going to confront Billy about getting Starlight in on it? Because Butcher's I, not going to be about that. I don't know about that. Even the I other think, boys I weren't really Huey about that. I think Huey knows his place at this point. I think he knows not but to what if, Also, but, she has enough going on right now. I don't think that... But what if Huey's like, yo, she has the compound view, the uh, compound V. Then that's Butcher another might be story. Like, oh. That's another or, story. But also now A-Train conflicts everything because like, also he knows. Like, he knows what's that going too. down. So or Starlight will be Butcher, Butcher might be like, okay... How about you know you you know sleep with her or whatever, and then when she's not looking, take the compound V and bring it back here. Then Huey, you think Huey would do that shit? I don't know. After that's, everything that happened with that's him, the and, thing. him and Starlight, because him and Butcher, I, I think, think he cares keep more about. Heads. I don't know though. I think he cares more about his relationship with Starlight than he does with, with Butcher. With Butcher. Yeah, that's true. And too. he's shown that before when when he has conti he continued to see her even after Butcher was like, nah. Yeah. I did like, like the. Don't. The scene with Maeve and, and her ex in the, in the hospital bed. I thought yeah. that was very, very cool. I like seeing Maeve just like being like, yo, like, I, I hate this shit, but I can't do anything about it. Yeah, because we never really got yeah. that in season one, mm. also. Like, I, gave, knew, I gave her shit for the plane thing, and I called her a she coward, whatever. She, yeah. she couldn't have this done anything Homelander. if she tried. Like, Homeland, and then what uh, Kamiko's brother was saying, how uh, he came down and just killed children, babies, like, he, he does not give a fuck. It's because he's a sociopath. He I grew know. Up, we have to understand he grew up in a place where he was not taught empathy or compassion. And his son. Or, and now he's teaching his those ideas to his son. Way. Who his son has a little bit of a better situation though. He's not like on a cold metal floor. But it's still pretty bad. It's still pretty bad, but at least he has a mother. At least he still has like a mother's love. True, but like Billy Homelander said. didn't have a mother's love, which yeah. is why he's kind of With like having this mom complex. It keeps drinking the milk yeah. in the most weird fucking way possible. Weird. And then, uh, but like Billy, uh, not Billy, like what uh, Homelander said, uh, if you don't tell him the truth, he's gonna fucking snap. Yeah, he's, he's you know? gonna grow up and then find out that he has so this, a, these powers. A, so has his powers not, he knows he has powers, but he just doesn't know. I mean, if you had powers, you wouldn't... You, you wouldn't really know. You have to try it out. I don't so think he, would, he knows how to use them. His kid doesn't know how to use them? No. Or he doesn't know he's a soup? No, he knows he's a soup because he, he said we're gods. That's what okay. Homelander said to him. So, so he knows. Yeah. But he just doesn't know how to use them. So it's a lot of different storylines that are probably going to start, you know, intertwining with each other. a little bit, yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, so I'm all far, in though. right now. I love so this shit. High. I think the writing is top notch. I think even when, like, it's like, just scenes where they're just talking, you're so into it because you just like... There's no wasted scenes. Because all the characters are interesting, the dialogue's yeah. interesting, yeah. it's just... And every character's got different personality and everything. It's and just, like I was saying, like, there's enough stuff to fill out a whole season. Oh yeah, definitely. You know? I don't, I don't feel like there's any wasted storylines here. I do like... I think the most interesting right now is probably the stuff with Becca, like what really happened. Mm -hmm. You know? I think that's... I think Even though really they're they're obviously going to save that because yeah. we're not going to know. Yeah. But. I mean, I'd like to see another, uh, like, that's the thing, the only boy, the only one of the boys that can clash with another hero is Kamiko and her brother, so maybe yeah. Kamiko might fight Black Noir again, because Kamiko beat him the first time. Yeah, we get a round so, two. yeah, get a round two, maybe. That'd be cool. Yeah, I don't know, with the whole Butcher and Becca thing, it's like, what is going on in Butcher's mm -hmm. head? Like, after you witness that, after you see like my wife is Homelander alive. Jr., and his wife, do you still have that thought in your head yeah, of to kill all she soups? Was, no, no, she was raped. She was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. she forcefully went into this situation. She didn't want it. Or do you start having second thoughts? And I feel like we're gonna see a little bit more of his like thoughts unraveling over the course of the season. Like maybe second guessing it because if he doesn't, that's gonna be so tragic. Yeah. Because I mean, we we don't know what Becca's true intentions are, but it was tragic when we found that out because everybody's oh, yeah. immediate thought was like, Becca's a bitch. Becca's the bad guy. Like. She's the one that just willfully went mm -hmm. off, but she was she was probably forced against her will to do that just to raise a soup that is mm -hmm. Homelander's child. We didn't get anything, uh, was it, was it episode one or two where Homelander was talking to Stan? One. Or, that was I one. Okay, was so one. We, didn't get, we didn't get anything of him this episode, but still, we got that story too. What's yeah. going on with that? Because mm -hmm. like he said, it's a pharmaceutical company. He's, he's just trying with, to keep this operation yeah, going. Yeah, so whether or not... 
when a uh, homeowner's contract runs out, he's gone. Like, I don't know what's going Then he's happen. just like a vigilante yeah, at that point. So he can do whatever he wants to take him down. A lot of different shit going on. I feel on. like there's a lot of very similar motives here that yeah. people have. They just like, because of previous conflict, there's no way that they could work together. Yeah, and the thing know? I respect too is like a lot of shows that have all these different storylines, it ends up getting kind of clouded and like just convoluted, like yeah. convoluted. But this show, like, it's, 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 and the thing is, it's easy to follow all the different yeah, stories. Yeah, it's, it's easy to follow, you know? So that, that's what makes it entertaining, I think. I and agree. You can follow all of it and just want to know what the fuck's going to happen. So. I definitely agree. Yeah, I'm all in for this shit so far. Predictions? Uh, I don't want to say nothing. I don't, I don't want to say come to fruition. Either. I don't want to see one of them die. I want, uh, not a prediction, but just like a hope. I want to see a little bit more of Stormfront. I, I want to see, She was yeah. definitely a highlight this episode. And I like that Starlight is kind of like taking I notes see from her. Yeah. Like, she's starting to become oh, yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, more yeah. badass, like, even with her uh, negotiation with A-Train. Like, that was straight out of Stormfront's advice to oh, her. Oh, hell yeah. When she said, uh, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, like don't, if you, like, yeah. start not giving a fuck. Like, they they can't do anything. They're, they, you have a contract, so they are the ones that need you. So you, maybe, yeah, maybe Stormfront will be, like, a mentor for Starlight. That would, That'd that be kind of cool. cool. Uh, I was going to say, too, I want to see Starlight just beat the fuck out of a train. A train. Like, Maybe we'll get that at the coming. end of the season. Yeah, like I want to. I don't know. I he's don't just. Know. He's too annoying. He's just so like cocky. He, he and doesn't shit. think about the bigger picture yeah. in certain situations. He. It's not even that he's cocky. It's that it's. He's definitely cocky, but at the same time, he's just dumb. Like yeah. he's just stupid. Any predictions with the, the deep? You think he's gonna end up joining back at the seven? No, he's gonna join that cult. I think. Okay. I yeah. guess I don't know. Who I'm, knows what's gonna happen with the cult? It's yeah, very I'm, weird. His whole storyline, I'm kind of just like, okay, I guess we'll see where it goes. I do think cult. that that shroom scene is gonna definitely be talked about a lot. Yeah. That shit was so funny. I was gonna say they like the boys. What makes them so distinct is like their controversial scenes, and that was definitely another mm. one. I guess those are all of our thoughts. So we're gonna shut up and get into episode three. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Check out my other reactions if you have not already. And I will see you guys for episode three. All right. Yeah. Bye, guys.